live from our new studio. This is our first audio podcast. Uh, hopefully you can check us out on YouTube, on our new channel, or if you're streaming from the site, hi, and hopefully you're a longtime fan. Uh, we have a couple of interesting things to talk about with you today. We have, first of all, our contest. We are giving away a free monster by nail. Uh, so sign up for our new e-newsletter and you're automatically entered to win. And next we have our new nerd of the month for June is Doug Cowell of Dog2 Media. He gave us an audio interview last week, so we've got that up on the site. Uh, we also have two new nerds lined up. First is for July, Nick Makoviak, who is the fantastic artist who did our zombie portrait. This was done for us at Boston Comic Con 2011. We love it. So he'll be joining us. We also have the wonderful Jason Spider Adams, who is going to be our Nerd of the Month for August. So we'll get his stuff up too, and you can check that out on the site. Hi, I'm Josh, the Comic King. I'm working with Katie today to bring you our new video blog. It's kind of interesting. Please forgive us if you know we're terrible at this. Edit that later. Thank you. <laughs> Let me see. First thing I want to tell you about is when I read Maxim's Hot 100, I was at first very disappointed by the other side of the cover because Cameron Diaz, she's just kind of old and I'm pretty sure that's not her body anymore. So what I went and did was I rewrote the Hot 100 and you can check that out on my site. Obviously there's not a hundred girls. It would have been nice to have the time to view them all and add all their pictures, but life is too short. So check that out. The next thing I want to tell you about is a comic I just really enjoyed reading. It was Conan, Iron Shadows in the Moon. I had a lot of fun. It's a little bit bigger than the average comic book that I review, so it took me a little while to read it. But the stories are fantastic. It's told through the eyes of the woman he ends up rescuing. And you just really kind of get into it and you, you kind of feel for the big lug. So you might enjoy this comic if you're a Conan fan or you just like pirates and kind of crazy adventures. Good story. And the latest comic that I've just reviewed today, actually, is Grim Fairy Tales number 57. Uh, Cell is in trouble, as usual, uh, but she's just working on her way to get to the uh, Thallus Castle. She's got a couple friends with her, and uh, there's a few things blocking her path, so we'll see if she makes it there in one piece. Alright, so I wanted to note that we got in touch with Tom Hutchinson who is gracious enough to sign some of our comics for us. He was one of our former Nerds of the Month, and uh, he sent us something brand new. I'm a big fan of Tom. He writes Penny for Your Soul, and I really wanted to thank him, especially for the number one he autographed. He said, Hail to the King on it, which is just awesome. And this is a special limited edition of 250, and I'm definitely going to treasure this, and I can't wait to read it and review it for you guys. You probably won't be able to get this cover, but it's still really cool. <laughs> All right, and the final thing we want to tell you about today is the latest game that we've been playing. It's Transformers War for Cybertron. Been having a blast destroying the Autobots as Megatron and Starscream. Although flying in Starscream, I find a little troublesome because I spent too much time playing Call of Duty. I keep falling, but it's still a good game, and I've spent a few hours the last couple of days playing it, and I'm looking forward to playing some more. Um, I like this game too. So far, it's been really great. The uh... Nerds over at GameStop recommended it to us. The only downside is is that I'm not finding the two-player mode working out for us. There's no split screen. It's two-player online mode anyway. So if you're looking forward to playing two-player, might want to skip this one. Sorry. I will say the co-op was decent. Kind of depends on who you randomly get stuck with, though. All right? <laughs> I love you, my queen. I love you.